Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Company. It's Wednesday, September 26th. I'm gonna go over the markets with you for the day. Uh, you started off the day very similar to where you did yesterday, finding that strength, especially into the soybean market, and just wasn't able to hold on. So it does look like these markets, these grain markets want to rally, but every rally is met with some selling pressure. And that's the difficult thing is, are there gonna be sellers to every rally throughout harvest? Are you gonna see farmers being active sellers for a crop that's coming in a little bit better than they anticipated? It looks like you're gonna have a big crop out there and that's a difficult thing so you did get really friendly news as far as goes for soybeans huge sale to mexico on soybeans and that should have alone been able to support this market but got up about seven to ten cents once again faded down actually closed up just a little bit higher here um, but regardless well off its highs for the second day in a row um, corn market kind of that same situation really tried to get a little bit higher couldn't hold on to it closing just slightly negative and wheat market actually had a lot of strength coming in but once again was one of the ones that actually closed the, the most negative here down two to three cents across the board and so overall just struggling to get anywhere maybe once you get past friday's crop report that you'll be able to get a little bit more attention but overall just seems like you're stuck in a little bit of a rut here friday you do get quarterly stocks in a small grain summary, the quarterly stocks will finalize old crop carryout for corn and soybeans, so that's very important here. Meat markets, cattle markets actually closed about a dollar to two dollars higher. Uh, this actually puts both live cattle and feeder cattle slightly positive on the week so far. So you did get friendly cash trading. That's what you needed to overcome here, the negative crop report or cattle on feed from last Friday. And so that was enough to kind of give you a little bit of a positive spend on the week. It did look like feeder or lean hogs had a little bit of selling pressure, maybe some profit taking in there slightly negative on the day then outside markets trade both sides did see the stock market start to take off just a little bit you did have uh, federal reserve come in here and raise the federal funds rate um, slightly higher up 25 points and that was kind of expected just because of the, all the economy snaps that you have going on right now um, job claims everything's looking a little bit positive so they did decide to increase that rate as well i do have to climb close with the disclaimer trading futures and options involves risk loss may not be suitable for all producers have a great day.